Oh my god, it's opening. Okay. Hey Hi. guys, welcome to today's video. I'm Jamie B. Thanks for stopping by. Today we are going to be reviewing the new ColourPop Velvet Blur Luxe Lipsticks. I'm really super excited about these. They did just launch these a little bit ago. I think it was like a week ago. There are 16 new shades and I'm really excited to share these with you. I have worn them two times now um so i have a little bit of info on what i think about them so as always guys if you are already subscribed thank you so much if not make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it at the bottom of this video so you do get notified when i upload i do upload three days a week i'm gonna put it right here at 5 p.m eastern time every week you really want to hit that notification button because it's going to notify you instantly when i upload my videos so that way you don't miss a single one of them and of course become part of the high and I mean why not we're super fun here we love makeup we love reviews and all that good stuff so there is that let's get into today's video all right so like I said there are 16 new lipstick colors uh, they are seven dollars a piece that's a normal price for ColourPop lipsticks and this was a hundred and twelve I believe so not too bad not for 16 lipsticks I'm gonna go ahead and roll up my sleeves so we can get into work all right so I'm going to be reviewing them all the way over all the way over just so you guys know and I will put the name I will say the names but again they are um, seven dollars a piece and I'm gonna go ahead and start swatching while I'm chit-chatting about how I feel about it. This is Creme Fresh. It is a more orange undertone with a little bit of peachy. And it's going to look like this on your skin. The next one, which is Hey Mr. DJ. Hey Mr. DJ is more uh, similar to that orange color, but it has a little bit of pink undertones to it. Now the bottles do have the same star the same color they haven't changed the package and the lipsticks still have stars on them so this one definitely has a little bit more of a pink undertone to it this is lucky strike is gonna be a darker more berry color lucky strike mesmerize which is a more red undertone so right there so with these, I will have to say that they are kind of lightweight. They're, they're, you have to build them if you want that like pop of color or you can do, so if I take one, like let's take, this is Mesmerize. And I'm just going to do one swipe here, okay? So just one swipe across. It's not very pigmented, but if I go like this, you can really, really build up that color. So you can either choose to have it that more lightweight, just like a stain, or you can build it up to have that like pop of beautiful color. Okay, so we're gonna go in the next part of the top. This one is, ooh, Super Bloom, and it's gonna be that bright red. Oh, it has, looks like it definitely has some, I wanna say pink undertones to it. Oh, this is so pretty, this white might actually be one of my favorite ones look at that it's so stunning all the tea all the tea is going to be more of a brighter pink color less red than um super bloom your traditional hot pink so there is all tea and we have sphinx which is going to be that natural like a little bit of a brown and um red undertone with no, oh, that was but just a hint of pink. Oh, actually, no, this is way more pink than it actually looks on the tube. Look at that. That is Sphinx. So pretty and natural. And then we have Fake Love, which is that hot, hot pink. We're talking like, oh boy. Very beautiful. So I will have to say that, I'm going to take a pause before I continue the swatches, is that they say that they're long lasting, but when I wore it, it didn't last very long. I would say without eating, probably a couple of hours with eating, you're looking to, you're probably going to re be reapplying this lipstick throughout the day. Um, it is matte, but it is not like dry down cakey mat so it's comfortable but it definitely it, it will have to be reapplied because it does transfer 
I'll go ahead and show you. And I've had this one on for quite a bit before I started recording. Um, so they do transfer. Uh, they're not as like matte as I would want them to be, but I think they're very comfortable. So if you like that matte look, but you don't like that matte feel, these lipsticks are going to be your go-to and they're seven freaking dollars. So there's that. All right. So the next one is going to be Y2K and this is more of a maroon color. Oh, definitely with some brown neutral undertones. I am here for that color. Oh, so I have definitely found like two of my super favorites so far. All right. And the next one is 21 questions it is more of a burnt orange with a little bit of a red undertone to it. Again, stunning color. The next one is K Bop. This is a bright orange and I'm here for it because I do love me a bright orange moment. Oh my God, it's so funny. I think I'm gonna have to put this one on here. So K Bop. Oh, I don't think it's gonna go with my blue eyeshadow or I would put it on, but this is so stunning. Oh my God. That one is pigmented of like all of them. I only had to do that one like once or twice. We have Solo, which is your traditional deeper red, not as bright as Super Bloom, but definitely more of a true red. So you have Super, um, not Super Bloom, Solo. So they definitely are buildable in color because that's what one thing I was afraid of when I first swatched them on my lips was that it didn't really cover what I needed it to cover because I do have dark sunspots on my lips. So I was a little bit worried that some of these colors were not gonna do what I needed them to do. But the more and more I swatch them and work with them, they're kind of, they're definitely buildable lipsticks. They are supposed to give your lips like a blurred look. So like the lines on your lips don't look like they're there. However, I, I'm, to me it's gimmicky because I have really deep lines and the only thing fixing these babies is lip fillers. So <laughs> I think if all you have is like just a few light lines on your lips, like ve not very deep lines, then these will work out for you. But it does make it look really pretty and really smooth. Like if you look here, I'm wearing one of them on my lips now. So it looks really, really nice. It's not too sheer, but it isn't thick and cakey. So I feel like you applying it throughout the day, it's gonna be fantastic. Sorry, not sorry, which is a super fun purple pink shade. My daughter Madison actually wore this one today to school. She loved it and she's all about these bright beautiful colors so there is sorry not sorry hashtag feelings for 2019 and then we have alchemist which is that super dark very purple so this is a beautiful color but i will have to tell you it's going to need to be built up and it might patch a little bit so just be prepared for that anything with these really super dark purple red undertones. They're gonna be a little bit patchy and you will have to build them up. So you'll have to work with them a little bit. So I really have a hard time pronouncing this one, but I'm assuming it's Vignette, V-I-G-N-E-T-T-E. -T -T -E. If you wanna go ahead in the comment below and just let me know exactly how to pronounce this, that'd be cool. So it is a brown with a little bit of a red undertone. It just has like just a hint of red. I don't know if you can see it, but it's definitely more brown, but just, just a little bit hint of a red undertone. Okay, and then you have CA Love, which is just that lighter brown with more of a warmer undertone. It is CA Love. I actually have this one, Vignette, Vig I'm not really sure how to say that, but it's like the only one I can't pronounce. But I have this on my lips right now, and I have worn it throughout the day and I really do like it. It does patch off a little bit because it's the darker color, but it does, it almost patches off to like, almost like the color of the CA Love, just like that very light brown color. All right guys, so that is all of the swatches of all 16 brand new lipsticks from ColourPop. Again, they are $7 a piece and they are absolutely stunning. If you are looking for a new lipstick, you like the matte look, you don't like the matte feel, these are gonna be really good for you. You like that, just pop a color. Maybe you, you wanna have the choice of build it up or leave it sheer. 
these are gonna be great I'm really glad I bought these I'm excited to add them to my collection I'm in between whether or not I'm gonna keep the box because it is kind of cute like I wish I could just like sit it up like this but girl I ain't got a room like I'm running out of room but they're super pretty guys that is it for today's video make sure you give me a big thumbs up if you liked it comment below what your favorite color was and what you think of the new formula I'm a big fan. I wish that it was a little bit more pigmented and a little less sheer. But as for the blurring effect, I'm really in love. They look fabulous. They feel fabulous. And I'm just super excited to be wearing these lipsticks a little bit more than just this one that I wore today. All right, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.